and welcome back to Spelunky everybody. We are once again doing another run here, trying to get as far as possible to very quickly get you up to speed maybe. Let's uh, summarize what we're trying to achieve right now, just or just much rather state what we're trying to achieve here. Um, so last time we died on the temple, dark temple floor, very difficult. A eagle-headed dude jumped on top of me and or not not even jumped on top of me he just chucked me into some lava pool which wasn't very nice um, and yes yeah, so that that's how that run ended and the one before that we actually went to hell for the first time and that is once again what we're trying to be doing uh, and this one as well trying to get to hell and eventually beating it I mean probably not gonna be this one it's fairly unlikely just because hell is difficult as all hell. Um, that's probably also where the name comes from. And yeah, I mean it might not happen this time around, but it's just very, very, very important that we get more comfortable with hell and just get better at it and eventually beat it. And I mean so far this floor is really going quite okay, seven bombs? And then a crap ton of money already, which I'm very happy about. I mean, I, I've had more on the first floor of uh, the mines, but still, 10,000 is absolutely nothing to sneeze at. So let's just drop off the damsel, get this extra gold thing, also pick up the stone, we might need that, you never know, and move on to the next floor. Of course, if you have been following the series for a while now. You know what we're gonna do first. The Ujed Eye. We're gonna try to get the Ujed Eye, so let's keep an eye out for that. And then I guess I'm just gonna say what we're gonna be doing as we keep making progress in this game. So let's check this out. So we have a snake pit, which is awesome because that could mean that uh, we can get a matic here. We could absolutely get a matic here. I might want to chuck. Oh, this was not really the best way of going about doing that. And also taking damage right there wasn't really the best either. I'm not really happy with the fact that I'm now down here somewhere. Oh, careful about that. I now want to trigger that arrow trap though. Really, really do. I'm very happy that that stone didn't hit me. But this way, I'm now going to be able to go up there much more easily. That bomb box would be so nice, but I'm also very interested in that stupid ass... Mm, I don't know how to do this. I mean, this would m require two ropes. I mean, I might as well do it right about now and not sit around here much longer and just waste time. It pisses me off a little bit that we have to, to uh, use two ropes because I easily could have done that differently but the matic is really important so I'm currently comfortable with that well just decision there not really comfortable with that fuck up but it's something we can still deal with at least we didn't completely screw us just then so let's just drop off or just drop in general no need for that off in that sentence I guess uh, drop that bomb right there so we can now get the matic and mine our way around the second floor right here. Pick up some crates. I did definitely see maybe like two or three. And there we go. That's our ropes back. Um, all right, and there's also a damsel there, which is good. Gonna whip that guy. Don't want to use the matic on him. Oh, and that this is also where the exit is at. So that's really good. There was another crate up there though, and I'm gonna maybe try to get that, although Ghost might be coming real soon. Let's just make this jump right here. And yeah, I guess I'm gonna go for that bomb box. They're ne never gonna be this cheap again, so maybe only for the better. Once again, using a rope just to speed things up a little bit here. Um, because, yeah, because of that, because the ghost is approaching rather rapidly I'd imagine let's let's very quickly mine the shit out of this get those additional bombs he's probably coming from the right side which is really bad for business luckily we can probably still work around somewhat I'm gonna have to chuck that rope there unfortunately really wasting those maybe not wasting those I mean I'm using them for my own 
benefit, but still. This should maybe allow us to trick him a little bit. Alright, just just very quickly try to come up with an escape strategy. <laughs> okay. That should this should work. We should be able to get up here now. That was scary. That was real scary, but we're leaving. And things are still looking pretty good, so <laughs> I'm just very happy that I didn't die there. That easily could have ended it all. But it didn't, and we now have a damsel with us. That's five health. We did take some damage there, unfortunately. Um, and we can easily now defuse these, which I'm a big, big fan of. Gonna jump on that spider. And yeah, the damsel is down there. We might just want to mine our way towards... Oh, fucking hell. Towards her. Um, but I wanted to check over here real quick, just because we're still looking for that Ujet Eye. And it's of the utmost importance, or just utmost importance. I guess you can leave that uh, the out of that sentence. I'm just fucking teaching you English right now, aren't I? <laughs> maybe not even, maybe I'm just being stupid. Uh, but yeah, we still need to get that. Very important. And it is actually going to be on this floor. I might drop her down just so that, nah, maybe not actually gonna use this for that exact same purpose. Did it even trigger that? Alright. Hopefully uh, hopefully she didn't fall onto some spikes. We're now gonna go down there ourselves and then look for that key. Oh yeah, she's right there. So she's safe, which is very nice. Um, no key over here. So it's gotta be down there somewhere, right? I don't even know how low we are. I don't know. I guess we'll have to, first of all, pick up the chest and then bring that down there. But we're fairly low. This is the exit already. So that key has to be over on the left. Wanna, ooh, that was cool. That was that was real cool. I enjoyed that. But yes, we gotta really hurry up. We don't want to be dealing with the ghost yet again. So let's... Oh, there it is. It's right there. So this should actually be fairly easy for us. Just want to get that ruby real quick. And then hurry the shit up. I, I'm probably not even gonna have to go back up. Instead, I'm probably gonna just use the matic because we can. Pick up that key, drop on top of that snake, open up that chest, get the Ujet eye, get the matic, and uh, oh yeah, we still have that damsel that's not gonna drop down, which is real nice. And now let's get some extra health because we really could use that. And then we are very much out of here. Still got some uses on that Matic, which is nice. Uh, I guess I might even go ahead and do this real quick and then move on. So, now that we have the Ujed Eye, of course, the next step in this very, very arduous process is going to be finding the black market on the jungle floors and also bringing $50,000. Uh, with us for that, so we can actually buy the Ankh, so that we won't have to kill all the shopkeepers. It's, like, I'm, I'm really torn on the whole idea of killing shopkeepers. On the one hand, it's probably for the best. It's probably very much going to improve our chances when it comes to the, like, grand scheme of things, because by killing the shopkeepers, you make sure that you have all the items you need. I mean, it's very likely that you're gonna then get all the items you need. Um, also, you're very likely to run into shotguns um, on on the hell floors, which is super, super useful. Is she gonna jump over that spiky thing? We're gonna have to rely on it. Yeah, that didn't work out too well, alright. Well, at least I now know that that's not happening. Let's see, we don't, we don't want to deal with that guy, just gonna kill that snake right here. And then maybe do something like this. Oh, that arrow trap has not been triggered yet. Alright. So, uh, I mean at this point we're base. oh my god, okay, that was real scary. Uh, <laughs> now I'm really sad about the fact that we will, uh, will not be able to get that damsel, because I took some additional damage. 
Um, there's another Matic right here, though, and that is really cool. Because now we can basically... Oh, it broke even. So that's now really cool. <laughs> because we have another one. We have another full Matic that we can make use of that is apparently already been triggered. Uh, I didn't even mean to jump down and kill that snake like that, but I'm very happy that it worked out like that. Um, cool. Well then, I guess we are about to leave. We should be, at the very least. Um, just gonna try to pick up some additional cash here, because we can. Is there any... Oh, there's another crate. There's even two crates up there. Yeah, totally is. So... Wow, this could really mean a lot of cool shit for us. Spike shoes I'm very happy about already. What's it's gonna be inside? Bombs again. That is so real good. We already have 29 bombs, which is crazy. That is so, so crazy. Uh, all right, just gonna climb down again. Not worry about that snake. Instead, worry about getting out in time, but that should not be an issue at all. We might even take a little bit more time and get this emerald right here and then we're leaving and that should also then conclude the mines we have 70,000 so that's onk plus another um yeah another 20,000 and that is real good that is real real good so that plant of course is very scary do not want to deal with that at all right now and there's two crates down there there's two crates down there so let's try to get as much gold while we're trying to get closer to those crates. Um, there's another emerald right there. And now probably the best way of deal uh, going about this is this. So let's get pick up the parachute. Good to have. Not the best item. Two parachutes. I mean, um, probably would have liked either two different items or just no parachutes. And like at least one uh, bomb back or whatever that really would have been nice but I guess two parachutes might very easily uh, save us a little bit later down the line now there's another damsel for us of course she unfortunately is trapped by that stupid stupid piranha down there and I'm not exactly sure how and what how I want to deal with that. Hmm. I really don't know. I guess the best way of... Oh my god. Right, get out of here real quick. That was really stupid damage. Now we absolutely have to get that damsel. Otherwise I'm not going to be happy about myself. Uh, I'm probably just going to blow this up like this. That's basically the best solution to that problem that I can think of. And I think that was a very good solution. Uh, I'm going to have to... Oh god. Maybe we could have used that frog, then again, I want to go back and get that Matic. So we can get even more money for uh, the black market, which should be coming up very soon here. Right, let's get this Sapphire. Let's get uh, the Ruby that was over here, and I guess also all the gold um, contained in this little section. Oh man, this is really exciting. I can't believe we already have nearly... 90,000. That is absolutely bonkers. Alright, but let's go up here real quick. Oh my god, okay. We might just want to leave, right? We, we might just want to leave. Oh, now we just gotta find that black market. I really hope it wasn't on this floor, or on this past floor, I guess. Uh, because I didn't really check out the right side of that. Stuck uh, to the left for the most part, we, 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 we probably should have noticed something. Now, anything over here? Of course, monkey is an immediate turnoff. There is going to be an altar on this floor. And I might... Oh, God. Oh, yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, I was a little surprised by that blowing up, but I guess that makes a whole lot of sense. Um, but, yeah. What we once again want to work on is going to be the Kapala. I know in the last video somebody was asking about what the Kapala actually is, and while I did um, reply to that, to that comment, I'm gonna once again go over what the Kapala is all about um, for everybody that's watching this right now. So, Kapala is something that you get 
That's gonna, yeah, inflict damage. That was pretty stupid. Oh, and it's actually going to be right here. Can we see it already? I can't. And I hate that plant right there. I really, really do. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, that was not really the best way of doing that, but I'm gonna now. Oh my god. <laughs> Once again! I'm I'm completely chucking all those bombs in the wrong direction, and that's now the damsel gone, which is shit. So that was really, really poor Spelunky gameplay. I guess I can still sacrifice her. Unfortunately, it's not gonna help us too, too much. Um, yeah. So that was real bad. You probably already know that. Uh, we gotta hurry up a little bit, though, because Black Market is absolutely going to be here. Um... So we gotta make sure that we know where it is. Um, apparently around here somewhere. I really gotta kill that monkey. Jesus. Alright, now I'm gonna jump on top of you. Okay, seemingly... I'm not sure if it's down here, actually. It sure feels like it. Then again, it's not really reacting the way I'd want it to. Alright. It's much rather over here somewhere. So let's blow all that stuff up. Um, try to find it. We're gonna have to use another rope here. I mean, not necessarily, I guess. Alright. Gonna be right here, over on the right side. And that's real bad, actually, because the ghost is gonna be showing up. I don't wanna risk it. I guess I could've made that in time. But I still feel like this floor is gonna allow me to maybe dance around the ghost a little bit. Um, all right, so let's maybe drop off that Matic real quick. Bring up this guy and sacrifice him at the altar. And then as soon as he's around here somewhere, we should maybe be able to lose him. Although I did mess that up a little bit. And I really wanna now do this. Parachute saved our asses right there. Um, all right, and that's now basically me leaving this floor. Moving on to the black market, which is awesome. We have 104,000 for that black market. Once again, very similar to that last run. The only thing I'm currently worrying about is our health. Um, that could easily be resolved by us getting the Kapala, which I guess I still haven't explained fully because I was distracted by something. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I definitely want more than just the four healthy thingies. Hearts, I guess, is, is one way you could describe that. Um, and Kapala would easily solve that. So now, once again, because I probably didn't finish that first thought that I had. Uh, what is, what is the Kapala? What does it do? How does it help you? Well, you get it by sacrificing either two damsels or an equivalent amount of shit, so uh, enemies are worth much, much, much less than, say, a damsel. And um, if you sacrifice that, there's two tiers to sacrificing. So for uh, one damsel or the equivalent of one damsel, you are gonna get... I don't only want to buy bombs right now because I already have an insane amount of them. Um, I mean, I can easily pick up another box, but I would also like something else, although it doesn't really offer anything. Well, I wouldn't be fair to say. There's a cape right here, which I might pick up, uh, and Pitcher's Mid I also might pick up just because we can, and then we're also going to get another bomb box and then leave, essentially. It's going to be a really quick black market, at least it seems like that, but that's real good. I'm a big fan of that. Um, so yeah, there's two tiers to that. The first one is a random item. Which is, as I was saying, uh, the equivalent of one damsel. And then, the second tier is going to be the Kapala. Which is an item that allows you to gather gold. Uh, not even gold, but blood, much rather. I don't know where that gold just came from. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can pick up the blood dropped by enemies. So, for example, as you can see, if I now jump on this guy, there's red dots flying around and those are actually little uh, drops of blood and those 
you can then fill you yeah, well, I guess you can use those drops of blood to fill up your Kapala. Once it's full, you're gonna get one additional heart. Um, so if you kill a lot of enemies, you're gonna get a lot of health, and that is probably the fastest way of getting health, which is real cool. So as you then approach hell and you have a lot of shit to kill shit with, you can very easily get a lot of health quickly, which is absolutely amazing. Hopefully I did not stumble over my words in the middle of that. Hopefully that was all easy to understand, or at least possible to understand. Because of course I'm once again very much focused on Spelunky right now. Can't worry too much about my English. Uh, because things are looking really cool. Or really good. Cool is a weird word to use in, in that way, I guess, but... Things are looking good. You can possibly avoid that. That worked out very well. Uh, that frog is gonna be annoying. Nothing we can't deal with though. And it's so amazing to have this high of an amount of bombs because now we can very much use them whenever we want to. We might want to trigger that attack first and then check what's over here. There's nothing of interest though. Um, because we can now very, very easily traverse almost anything. Also, I guess ropes is of a mild concern right now. I'd like more ropes. Uh, I'm gonna kill that bat real quick, not to take damage in the process, which is always very, very nice. I don't even know how long this Matic is still gonna be around for. Probably not too long if I were to take, uh, take a guess here. So let's kill that guy. Ooh, okay, gonna blow that up because double tiki traps, no thank you. Not a big fan of that whatsoever. Uh, we should be able to just drop down here like that. And then maybe also blow this up. I do realize I'm current. Oh my god. I do realize I'm currently spending a lot of bombs on this kind of shit. But we can absolutely do that. Oh, and the Matic broke right as I was about to get that ruby. And that kind of sucks because now I can't even destroy this tiki trap. I'm blowing this, or I'm much rather destroying this thing using the Matic. So it's either bomb or rope or doing a very risky jump with this, which I probably, yeah, I, <laughs> I was about to say don't want to do, but it happened. Right. So moving right along, and once again to very quickly update you guys um, with with our objectives right here. Next thing we want to do is die on the floor that has the statue on it. So uh, let's try to find that and then die. And I guess while we're doing that, while we're working our way towards said, uh, said statue, we're gonna, now since this is here and we did now achieve that first tier of uh, items you get by sacrificing shit, um, yeah, we're gonna try to also get the Kapala. For example, this damsel right now would give us the Kapala. And it's probably a very good idea to do this immediately. I also probably now, looking back at it, should have saved that Yeti. Um, yeah, see? That skull-looking thing, that's the Kapala. So that is really good that we have this now. And now we can start really... Uh... Yeah, going on a killing spree, killing as much shit as we can. I don't think skeletons drop blood, at least that wouldn't make too much sense now, would it? Um, there's another crate for us to get as well, which is real nice. Oh, and also the compass we don't have yet. Luckily, the thing is going to be right over here. But still, I'd, I'd love to pick up the compass at some point in the near future. Now, anything else for us to kill? We really want to... Oh my god, that was terrible. That was terrible. We're absolutely now going to have to spend our last rope on this, which is 
really shitty. That is so real shitty. That could easily, easily screw us over. We now have to be very careful about traversing the environment. That was a big, big fail moment just then. Alright, let's move on. Let's try to kill as much stuff as possible on these upcoming floors and really stack up on that health. And uh, wow. Alright, this is shitty as all hell as well. Because now there's gonna be this alien looking dude around. And what he likes to do is shoot those uh, pink rings at you. You know the ones, the ones that have killed me time and time again. And, oh my god, there's a mine now, right there. You can't whip those yetis, you have to jump on them. So I'm now currently waiting for them to just leave. So I can actually just trigger that mine like that and leave. Not ever have to worry about that ever again. Uh, but yeah, I could have killed those yetis. Didn't feel like doing that though, because there were too many UFOs around. And those also shoot shit at you, so you want to be careful about those cannons over there. What you can do, there's a really cool thing you can do with the damsel. You can whip her a little bit and pick up her blood. And as you can maybe see, I don't know how easily it is to see that. But as you might be able to see, um, if you look at that Kapala icon at the top, that is actually now filling up. So it's a little red towards the bottom of it. Can we make this work? Alright, absolutely can. And the exit is gonna be right there. I don't know if I can whip her a third time. I'm gonna try to do it. No, that kills her. Alright, that was shitty then. That was real shitty. At least we got some blood out of it, so it might not even matter. Um, then again, bringing her to the, to the exit would have been the better choice in that situation, probably. So, you didn't see a statue on here, did you? Because I didn't. We're moving on. No, and I don't think they would appear on such a floor where there's like a big mid middle section of just alien madness. Uh, so hopefully it's gonna be on the next floor. And it's gonna have to be on the next floor. And yeah, there it is, which is really cool. That is so good. And... I don't think I've ever talked about this, but I do really admire Spelunky and... One big reason for that, I'm gonna name in just a second here, once we get closer to that statue again. I might want to blow this up. Maybe like this, that was way too scary. Could have done that much, much more safe. Um, Alright, and let's now try to... Oh my god, alright, alright. We did pick up some ropes, that is real good. Um, so yeah, I was gonna talk a little bit about what I really appreciate about Spelunky. See, the game never tells you that you need the Ankh, and that you have to kill yourself with the Ankh on this floor. But they do have a little symbol of the Ankh on the statue, so that kind of hints at the fact that there's something related to the Ankh. But of course, when you first explore this area, you don't know that. I mean, I've unfortunately already figured that out by just watching Spelunky content. But just imagine how amazing it is when you first unravel such a, well, quote-unquote mystery. And, uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of that. I really like how they designed this game and how many mysteries it has, too. I mean, I did previously talk, yeah, about, uh, talk about the connections to, or at least similarities to Dark Souls a bunch of times. Uh, let's let's very quickly once again farm her a little bit for some blood um, So now we're gonna only whip her twice and try to pick up all her blood. I don't know. It's it's really hard to catch the blood at times, but um, Do we already want to kill ourselves? I feel like I want to go back up and explore a little bit more So let's maybe do that uh, Very happy that I was able to actually hold on to that um, we could still kill a bunch of shit, that would probably be really beneficial. So for example, that yeti down there, we could kill him and maybe get some of his blood. I'd want to maybe first of all, uh, defuse these things, because they can fall on top of you and kill you. 
All right, and now I'm gonna pick up some extra blood from this guy. There's a few pots here that we should be able to break without screwing ourselves. Oh God, all right, just be careful. And yeah, we wanna die right about now because the ghost can still kill you uh, inside the statue thing. So now let's move on basically almost immediately here. Nothing else we can do on this floor. We do... Yeah, we will get uh, another heart right here because we dropped off the damsel and also we managed to get some blood off of her, which is really nice. I mean, so far, hasn't really been too useful, the Kapala. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm just unfortunately not really used to all the mechanics connected to it yet. I mean, I don't know how or what the best way of obtaining blood is yet. That's probably my biggest issue. Um, we should be able to do something like that and blow maybe all of them up at the same time. That really would have been a... Mm, I guess. I guess it's not too bad that we now blew up uh, those few wall segments there. Um, that really would have been a good source of blood, but of course, being so close to an explosion is probably not the best idea. So, uh... Let's see if we can now also destroy this dude right here. Um, maybe even chuck something like that at him. And yeah, as you might might have been able to see, now have six health. Previously only had five. So the Kapala, for the very first time, gave us some additional health. And that is so, so amazing. So, once again, quickie update. Next step is going to be killing Anubis on the first floor of the temple. Now, do I want to go down here? Is the exit actually going to be this far down? Because I don't think so. It's probably going to be over to the right. Then again, the damsel is on the left. So, we'll do this. Probably gave us a shit ton of blood, which is awesome. And, um... Yeah, it's either spending a rope for that damsel, so basically trading a rope for a heart. And I don't even know where that exit is at. I really don't. I don't think that it goes down much more. Or does it? We're gonna have to check it out, I guess. No. It's the end right here. Where is that exit? Am I just not seeing it and it's totally around somewhere? Or is it actually... There it is. Oh, and that's going to be an amazing source of blood. It really, really is. So, I'm going to I'm gonna unfortunately have to really just uh, be a little bit more careful about that. But yeah, I did basically decide against getting that damsel just because I want to keep some ropes for the off chance that we're going to trap ourselves somewhere that we can't get out of. So, uh, yeah, that was real good. We're moving on. And we should now be on the first floor of the temple. So now we're going to have to kill Anubis on this floor. And very, very happy about the fact that we actually now already have 44 bombs. That's going to be so, so useful. I hate those uh, guys down there. Can I maybe blow up that Tiki Trap? I'd love to. That should do the trick, yeah. So let's try to find that Anubis guy and annihilate him. Get his scepter, which is then going to be... Oh. I probably shouldn't be doing this right now because I, I, I honestly don't care too much about the characters. And uh, I should much rather focus on getting out of here alive and not having the ghost chase us but I might as well do this right now and also it's really cool that she died immediately because I really hate having those guys around I mean they're I guess supposed to be there to help you but they rarely do they really really suck at times and by at times I mean every time so that, that was really good that that ended that way so what are we I, I hate these guys they so they were so annoying last time around, but I'm gonna have to get out of here rather fast. So let's try to jump on top of one of them at least, and then maybe try to deal with the other one as we as we go. I did, didn't mean to check that one. Oh my god! 
Alright, be really careful. We could get his blood though, which would be kind of really cool. Yeah, about to get another health up by that thing. Alright, and Anubis is apparently down there somewhere. So let's... Fuck! Oh, that was so stupid. That was so fucking stupid. I could not have foreseen... <sighs> Jesus. I could not have foreseen that stupid, um... Thwomp, that's what it's called. And that pushed me onto those pink rings. I otherwise easily would have avoided them. And now we're gonna have to die to those again. Which really sucks, because things were looking amazingly. This was going so, so well, up until the point where the temple, yet again, for the second time in a row, not even a single practice run between the two episodes. Well, the second time in a, in a row, the temple decided to absolutely screw us with just bullshit placement of things. Last time it was the darkness on the second floor of the temple. Was it even the second? I, I think it was the second. And now, fucking thwomp on the first one. That really sucks, but that was still a very good run. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, just goes to show that we're really improving and getting more consistent. Because as I was saying, there was no practice run in between those. And with both of those, I managed to get a high amount of bombs and just cool shit. This time around, we also got the Kapala, which was really good. So let's repeat basically all of the good things next time around. And have less of just dying by pink rings. I don't know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more. See you next time.